Folks like Richard Allen uh, were emerging out of the Methodist Episcopal Church and eventually starting the uh, African Methodist Episcopal Church in 1816. Absalom Jones became, uh, he became a black pastor in the Protestant Episcopal Church and then the guy named Daniel Coker uh, was a black minister in the African Methodist Episcopal Church. A really cool black Methodist doing liberationist work in the early 1800s and they were pioneers. I mean, Richard Allen in 1787 in Philadelphia, he and Absalom Jones and William White, they knelt at a prayer altar at St. George's Church during worship and some racist sexton in the church pulled Absalom Jones off of his knees during the prayer uh, to get them to go sit somewhere else because at that time a lot of blacks were being made to sit in balconies or sit in the back and things like that. So of course they just thought this was obscene and they all walked out and you know it's like well they won't be bothered by us anymore but it took 30 years of them kind of patiently trying to build black methodist churches within the methodist episcopal church before they actually were, were dealing with so much harassment and obstacles being put in their way that they finally had to create their own denomination in 1816 the african methodist episcopal church so Richard Allen was the first black bishop in Protestantism. So isn't that amazing? And he was a great organizer. What I read said he wasn't that necessarily that great of a preacher, but he was really enthusiastic, really passionate. He, he, he must have been really responsible with money because he built up he built up some wealth and was able to you know help build these independent black Methodist churches. I mean, this was like the first black interstate organization in the United States, the African Methodist Episcopal Church.